Does bleach kill bed bugs? How to kill bed bugs with Clorox bleach? Most people think about bed bugs before closing their eyes. Bed bugs don't transmit any disease, but irritating. Professional extermination is the best way and recommended protection against bed bugs, but this method is not fit for everybody due to high cost. There are some inexpensive DIY methods works fine if done carefully. Remember, this process is lengthy, but very effective and cheap way to kill bed bugs from your entire home. To use this method you'll need the following things. Washer with hot water capability, and laundry soap. Clorox liquid bleach or Clorox color safe bleach. Flashlight, and vacuum cleaner with hose attachment. Heavyweight kitchen or yard size garbage bags with ties. Bucket, and rubber utility gloves. Washcloths or scrub brush, and heavy plastic sheeting water spray bottle, and utility staple gun. Instruction number 1. Use a flashlight to examine the mattress, box spring and under furniture to verify the presence of bedbugs. Remember, adult bedbugs are reddish brown and a compressed, oval shape. You should recognize it to ensure its existence. Bed bug existence can further be recognized by the fecal matter they make in the form of reddish-brown spots on the host's mattress. Number 2. Remove as many unnecessary items from the infested area as possible. Items similar to magazines, papers and boxes of waste are the ideal places for bed bugs to hide. So, these clutters should be thrown out as soon as possible. Number 3. Pull drawers from dressers, and remove the box spring, and mattress from the bed frame. Bend the box spring and mattress against a wall or tree. Number 4. Clean the quilts, blankets, sheets and any other washable clothing inside dressers using laundry detergent, boiling water and Clorox. Clorox does make a color safe peroxide for colored fabrics. Make sure the wash cycles are used on the setting, so the items will work up the best. Dry all items in the maximum heat the fabric can tolerate. This ensures the killing of any mature bedbugs, nymphs and eggs. Number 5. Clean with vacuum cleaner the mattress thoroughly using the hose attachment to get around buttons, piping and cushion tops on the mattress. Also clean around the box springs, especially if there are any hole in the fabric covering the underside of the box spring, as this is the ideal hiding place for bed bugs. If the ragged material is beyond repair, then remove it overall. Number 6. Thoroughly vacuum the inside and outside of all dressers, furniture and fixtures, and nightstands. Tremble out any non-washable clothing items that were in the dresser. Number 7. Keep the non-washable clothing items in garbage bags. Put the bag clothing on the ground. Remove as much air as possible by gently sloping the bags and clothing like a sleeping bag and tying the bag off. This process may take many bags, but will ensure no bed bugs escape the vacuum. Depart the bagged items for at least 48 hours. Number 8. Clean the carpet with vacuum cleaner, especially where the bed and mattress were, under the head and footboards and other pieces of furniture. Number 9. Remove the bag from the vacuum cleaner, or drain the removable container into a plastic bag, seal it and dumping it in a trash can. Number 10. Mix equal parts of Clorox bleach and hot water in a container. Fill up the spray bottle with a mixture and position the nozzle to spray. Wear the rubber gloves to prevent irritation of the hands from the Clorox. Number 11. Mix some Clorox with water in a bucket. Use a washcloth with the Clorox mixture and drenched it out. Clean any washable areas in the room with this washcloth. Clean thoroughly the innards of dressers, and dresser drawers, baseboard and lighting fixtures. 
don't excessively saturate, especially on outer surfaces of things, as the Clorox can damage or weaken the surfaces of some furniture finishes. Number 12. Use the spray bottle to spread the Clorox mix on the mattress and box spring thoroughly, particularly under buttons, piping and cushion tops. Let the mattress and box spring to dry. Never use straight bleach on the mattress. Bleach is always aerating to the skin even after dry. Number 13. If the fabrics were removed from the bottom of the box spring, use the plastic sheeting to cover the naked box spring. Secure it with staples no more than one inch apart. Number 14. Put the mattress, box spring and any other things back where they belonged after all of these thoroughly dried tips and warnings. Put the washed items back in the drawers and remake the bed with the newly germ-free bedding. After 48 hours, the bags of previous clothing can be opened, and the items keep back in the dresser. Frequent bedding changes can help in controlling of bed bugs. Try to wash the bedding in hot water with Clorox, regularly if possible. While the sheets need to remove, use a flashlight to inspect the bedding and mattress to find signs of reinfestation. In the cases of extreme infestation where home remedies don't work, a professional exterminator must be consulted. Due to improper use of Clorox can cause skin irritation, eczema, and allergic reaction. Take care with utmost attention while apply Clorox. That is all about how to kill bed bugs with bleaching powder or Clorox bleach. Thanks for staying with us. Like this video and don't forget to subscribe.